we're using Apple's new really cheap software that is a replacement for Lightroom. It's very new software and it's really good. There's just not enough tutorials out there about it. So over here we have Lightroom here and then we have Apple software photo meter here and we're going to get the exact same result to see if we can replace Lightroom. The style we're going for is really smooth and moody. I'm going to use the same uh, approach as I would do in Lightroom to recreate this edit. So highlights down so we can see way back there. Uh, exposure up just to bring everything up. We need to see the whole image. Um, let's just back off a touch. And then the highlights down because we blew out those highlights so they need to come down and then we're going to bring in extra extra contrast here and that's because i'll show you the curves now i'll explain the curves we've got this really nice smooth faded style here and you've got to use the sliders in combination with the curves to get this effect so here we have a real smoothing out curve here so if we just reset this is without curves. Now we get this fade. Now there's some corrections we've got to do. And then we're bringing down the mids a lot. So I'll explain maybe a bit further on when it's a bit more obvious um, what it's doing. And then the color channels just have a simple S curve but quite a drop to the, to the black area here. So that's gonna give rich contrast to the image. That's why it gets so much uh, quite a bit darker as well. So as you can see, this is how we get uh, contrast and fade. So this is how we're gonna get that nice fade with a curve like this. So this is fading out the black point and this is bringing down all the mids here. So if we lift this up. Now, pretty much the whole image is this brightness here. So if we lift here, we're gonna really brighten the image a lot, okay? So we get this nice softness by doing a curve like this. Now we don't want, so this is, I'm just showing you what is happening here. So if we just put it back to where it was, that's what we want. Something like this. But now we're gonna brighten it like in other adjustments. Uh, probably with the shadows coming right up. Cause we don't wanna do a crazy curve like before. Now we are now looking really similar. So that curve plays a super big role and smoothing out the image. Okay, so if we reset, smooth, you can see um, we add some different, uh, kind of different colors here with the each, each color channel. Bit more blue, that's why we get that soft blue. Okay, and then we've got the HSLs here. So we've got some already done. So if we just reset them, and see off on. So I just wanted to bring up the saturation of the oranges, the yellows up, well, no, they're about there, but they needed to be brought towards an orange. You can see how they're a bit, bit more of a yellow in our one. We want them to be more of an orange. And then the greens, there's just this little bit of green here that is definitely quite dim and low brightness. So luminance is the brightness of colors, or well, it doesn't even say luminance. I'm talking like Lightroom. Now just really particular to the style is the use of texture to make it gritty. You can see it a little bit. We don't want to do too much of it. So just about them. And we want the softness, so this adds, I think, to this faded style, it really helps. So something like that. Okay, brightness is a funny one. Um, it's not in Lightroom, but I'm just gonna bring it down a touch. About there. Uh, I'm just gonna bring out a lot of these colors by waking up saturation maybe vibrance down it gives slightly more of a moodyness to the colors yeah we've covered the hsl here so just bring out the colors a bit more removing those yellows a little bit 
Now there's quite a bit of warmth in the shadows, I think. So, so we're just going to grab the shadows and go up. You can see what that's doing. It brings out all the oranges a lot. If we do that. Okay, there's just this real obvious brighter patch here in the middle. So we just got this. Um, we've got a brush here. Is Now this is actually where it gets a bit tricky. Because I don't like, if I bring up exposure, see how it's just flat? And if I bring up um, brightness here, don't like it. Exposure, don't like it exposure and contrast like you still it's just that like it's real faded we want to look like this so i am gonna use the curves to do this so brighten it but then we need darkness to it as well to get something a little like that now we have a lot of green let's just cool it off take out some green by adding purple and we get something pretty similar now. And then we could just like, we want a bit more of a glow. Just a little bump, maybe like that. Okay, so here's before and after. And if we reset it, and then we have to go back to the original layer for and after. But just to show you, this is what it looks like, like brightened. Like someone might Edit. That's what it might look like without this style, this fady, faded, moody style. And then we could fade it out a bit more by bringing down the black point a touch. I don't want to do this too much. You do it too much and it just looks kind of fake and amateur. So I might come back to the curves and just like, well, a bit smoother. Yeah, something like bit more like that. Um, these color channels are very important as well because these are also adding in contrast and color. So we get a bit of our blues up in the highlights, midtones here. I just did the same approach as I would in Lightroom but in Photomator. So in the course I might start adding in uh, lessons with Photomator. I, I love Photomator. The amount of money you save and all the perks you get with it being Apple and the speed. Everything is so good on Apple. I just increase that a bit more. Yeah, and maybe one brush. Just up a bit for the pop there. I think that's a key area of the image that should be brought out. 